Now, your news on the go. The town of DeWitt and its police force facing a federal lawsuit this morning. It's been filed by two women at the center of a rough arrest in Walmart. This is video from the incident back in July of 2021 at the East Syracuse Walmart. The two women are asking for $9 million each in damages. At the time of the arrest, police say Tangenic Bird used pepper spray during a fight at the Walmart. And then, and when officers got there, she and Tyrena Edmonds were taken into custody. Edmonds resisted arrest. A review of the officer's use of force found it was not excessive. Continuing with crime, Syracuse police making an arrest in a murder case from earlier this spring. 30-year-old Alexander Gallen turning himself in. On April 16th, 39-year-old Gregory Graves was shot in the stomach near the corner of Shonard and Oswego Streets. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Miguel Cruz is also charged with murder in this case. Syracuse police also make an arrest in the dog dilemma in the Strathmore neighborhood. Detectives say 21-year-old Shakita Acosta intentionally released the dogs in Upper Onondaga Park after a domestic dispute. She admitted that she knew they were dangerous and say three had bitten people in the past. Longtime Democratic legislator Bill Kinney is challenging Republican incumbent Ryan McMahon for the race for the Onondaga County Executive. It's the final year of McMahon's term. Kinney has either been elected or worked for the county ledge for the past three decades. Cayuga County. Cuyuga Community College is holding commencement tonight. The school will celebrate the class of 2023 with a ceremony at Falcon Park at 6. If you can't make it in person, there will be a live stream available on Cuyuga's website. You can also find it on YouTube. From one campus to the next, the Orange gearing up for a big game today. SU will face off against James Madison in the quarterfinals in the NCAA tournament. Faceoff is at noon inside the Dome. You can watch it on ESPNU. Today is the start of the PGA Championship, and due to the frost, the start time has been pushed back more than an hour. The first tee time will begin an hour and 15 minutes after the practice facility opens. Over 200,000 people are expected to attend the outing. Okay.